welcome to the vlogmas day 15 i believe um <clears throat> this is going to be a little bit different um unfortunately our plans for the day which involved going to a local park and hopefully visiting um father christmas and doing a christmas walk have been scuppered because um our car's broken down <laughs> so we are currently waiting for um an rac mechanic to come out and have a little look at it um, and hopefully we can get it fixed ASAP. Um, it's going to be a real nightmare if we can't because we're supposed to be going down to Cornwall um, on Friday. But oh well, we'll work it out. Um, so I thought instead of another boring day at home where you're just going to see the same thing that you're seeing all the time and we're really not up to much. Um, I would record a stash tour because I mentioned it the other day and a number of you responded positively. Um, so yeah that's what we're going to do. So this might be a little bit of a longer vlogmas um, because I know me and there's no way that I can sit and talk about yarn and show you my entire stash and it be less than 15 minutes long. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a longer vlogmas day and it is going to be pretty much just a stash tour. Um, yeah, so if you're not after that then feel free to skip this episode and we'll be back to normal tomorrow. Anyway, Right, let's start. I'll just start quickly with what I'm wearing because you won't have seen this. Um, although you will have done because I wore it the other day. But this is um, a Prairie Fire, um, which is a pattern by Tin Can Knits. Um, and it features this lovely lace that goes all the way around to a V down at the back. Um, and yeah, I knit this out of yarn that I dyed for myself. Um, it's kind of a precursor to my Loganberry colourway and it's really really cozy although my sleeves are a little bit a little bit on the big side but actually I quite enjoy that it's quite cozy it's fine um okay so let's get into the stash tour I'm surrounded by boxes um this is basically my personal yarn stash so rather than giddy yarns not the shop stuff if that makes sense um you're sitting on top of three boxes of shop stock and there's another four boxes of shop stock kind of over there but I'm not going into that um, so let's start with this one here. My stash all lives in um, plastic boxes. We um, get quite a few moths in the winter. So, well not in the winter, in the summer even. Um, so all of my stock, all of my shop stock and all of my yarn stash live in um, plastic boxes that I can seal so that we don't have an issue with the moths. And they all have um, various moth protecting things in there. If I come across any, I will show you as we go through. Um, this box is kind of a box. Oh, look, sorry. I set my studio light up. You can just see it reflected in the box there. <laughs> this box is kind of a box that doesn't have, I don't have plans for, if that makes sense. Um, so there's got various different things in there. If I can remember where they came from, I will let you know and yeah let's just dig in shall we i've got this absolutely gorgeous skein of um mcn so it's a merino cashmere nylon base um from the yarn badger and it's quite a vintage yarn badger i believe um when i first received it, i hadn't heard of the yarn badger um and for those of you that haven't heard of her she does amazing um self-striping nowadays um so definitely worth checking out um, but I keep thinking that this might have to become um, a ripple bralette. Um, oh, which I can't remember the designer of the pattern. Is it Jessie May, I believe, is the designer of the pattern. Um, I think with an MCN, that would be really, really cosy. Um, I have got a lovely skein of dye candy in the Brat colourway. This will eventually be socks for me, I think. Um, I have got lots and lots of down sheepy lane. She is um, a lovely friend and one of my favourite dyers. And I um, took part in quite a few of her Stephen King Young, not Stephen King, Tim Burton Yarn Clubs this year. Um, so this lovely one here is Ambrosia Salad, which was one of her um, Tim Burton Yarn Clubs earlier in the year. Um, I have got a very old skein of, oops, I dropped it, of Easy Knits. Um, and this is a single ply skein. Um, and I picked this up to go with another skein of yarn and then I didn't end up using them together. Um, and it's really pretty. I just haven't found a project for it yet. But I'm sure I will eventually. 
Um, I've got this lovely bright kind of orangey red skein from um, Ellen at Mrs Lamb's Yarns who I was talking about the other day and I actually received this one in a swap with Ellen and this is her sweet and sour colourway um, and it's on a bronze Stellina base I don't know whether that will quite come across um, but it is really colourful and really bright um, and I definitely need to pair that with something else I think in some kind of project I've got a lovely skein of the wool kitchen which I picked up at Unravel this year I believe um, it's a it's a BFL nylon base so again this will probably become socks for me maybe for Tom um, at some point I have got a couple of gorgeous skeins of Nora George yarns um, and I think these two might have to go together in a project the top colorway is thistle and the bottom colorway is grapple um, and I think these were both gifts from Tom at some point <clears throat> I've got this gorgeous skein I'm gonna say that a lot they're all gorgeous skeins I've got this lovely skein of lay family yarn um, and this one doesn't have a colorway name um, Kelly very kindly gifted me this when I had had a really rough day with Arthur um, he had had he had been in the hospital and it yeah it was a rough day um, and this is actually a merino nylon and mohair base I believe um, but it is really 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 pretty she just dyed this up for her to test the base um, but she very kindly sent me some and I think I'm going to make socks out of it because I think they're going to make really cosy socks then I've got <clears throat> a lovely skein of King Fibres in the Oyster colourway um, and again this is Silver Ply and I keep wondering whether I could get away with putting these two together in a project I think these might go quite nicely together and in fact I've also got this lovely skein of um, Ursula by Cosmic Strings which is also on a single ply base so part of me wants to pair all three of these together in some kind of project but I'm really not sure whether that would work those two together maybe I think adding this one might be a bit much um, I've got a lovely skein of fine fish yarns now I bought this at Fiber East or oh, probably two years ago maybe three years ago um, it's the colorway the colorway maven um, and it's a merino silk cashmere and I've just not worked out what to do with it um, I think it's gonna have to be some kind of single skein shawl or cowl it's an absolutely beautiful color really is lovely um, <clears throat> we have also got um, a lovely skein of Rivenets. Um, I believe this is in the, oh yeah, it tells you there, March Riot colourway, um, and it's 100% BFL. This was a lovely gift, um, a Mother's Day gift um, from the boys. And this was a Christmas gift from Tom last year. Um, this is a skein of Countess of Blaze in the Twee Bollocks colourway. Um, and yeah really 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 pretty um it's on a bfl nylon base um and i think again that will make really fun socks at some point i've been a little bit slack on my sock knitting this year um but i'm hoping to speed up a bit i guess um i've got a lovely skein of hedgerow yarns here she does some really gorgeous yarns um and this is the lupins colorway this was part of the flower power fund um from a couple of years ago it's really really pretty and I really do need to think of a project to do with this then I've got two skeins of the knitting goddess now these were bought specifically for a project um, they're on her Brit sock base which is a BFL Wensleydale alpaca and nylon um, and there is a project I've got a book of patterns actually by um, the knitting goddess um, and these are specifically to go together in one of those patterns. I just need to find time to cast it on, of course. Um, and then what else have I got in here? Um, staying with the um, Flower Power Fund, or going back to the Flower Power Fund, I've got a lovely skein of Fine Fish Yarns in the Anemone colourway, and this was one of her Flower Power Fund colourways, and it came with a little mini, so this will definitely become a pair of socks. And these two, no, not that one, that 
that one these two were also um flower power fund yarns so this one from felt fusion is called sweet pea and this one from dusty dimples is called blue tango um, and they are really fun and this one i'm quite tempted to pair with this skein um of dusty dimples which is um her colorway for the um if i want exposure um collection i guess that countess ablaze organized um a couple of years ago and i think they would go together really nicely make a really bright fun shawl um some of this is mine as in yarn i've dyed myself and kept for myself so i will ignore that i've got this lovely uh, going back to the flower power fund again actually this lovely skein of yarn is by um henny penny makes and this is in the delphiniums colorway and this was another one that was part of the flower power fund a couple of years ago really pretty and then finally two more here um this one by rusty ferret is um again part of the countess of blaze if i want exposure collection um that she did um and this one is um yeah from rusty ferret and just a random skein of Nora George yarns um that I love absolutely love I can't remember if this I received in a swap or if it was a gift or I could also have purchased it I can't quite remember um but that's just going to be a really fun pair of socks so that is box number one and we're already 11 minutes in so I knew that this was never going to be a quick thing um, if anybody actually in the comments has, sees a sees yarn that I'm showing um, that doesn't have plans for and has, you know, that feeling of, oh my goodness, this has to be this project, then give me a shout because I'm sure you've got ideas of things that I haven't thought of. Now, we have a bigger box here. Oh, but in this box, yes, this box has got some projects in it, if that makes sense, like projects that I have planned, plans for. Um, and in fact, I had the pattern for one of them somewhere really close by, but I've got no idea where it's gone now. Oh, well, anyway. Um, so I've got two skeins here of Third Volt Yarns, who is Lola. Um, and these are actually going to be for Tom. Um, so this top one here is a lovely Aran weight yarn. Um, and this is in the Brown Coats colorway, which is a Firefly reference. Um, so I think that was going to be some mitts or something from Tom. And then this one here, it's been reskained by me rather messily, um, is in the Vulcan High Command colourway. Um, and it's a gorgeous, it's actually, it's a DK Merino Cashmere Nylon. Um, so I think some kind of cowl would be really cosy in that. Um, then we've got, <laughs> right, this is quite a funny story. So these lovely skeins from For the Love of Yarn, you can see four here. Now I purchased these at Perth Yarn Festival. These, this, this set, yeah, this set. So you've got two skeins of four ply and a pack of minis. I purchased this set um, specifically for the slow exposure shawl um, because <laughs> I had been eyeing it up. So I had seen her at Perth the year before when I would just went as a customer and I'd seen this shawl displayed on on her stand and I loved it but it was out of budget I'd already spent too much money and I couldn't justify it then when I was at vending at Aberdeen um she was opposite me and again she had this gorgeous shawl on the stand and I eyed it up the whole time through Aberdeen and I thought to myself you know if I can just make this target if I can just make this target of the amount of money I'm going to bring in then I can justify it and unfortunately at Aberdeen I didn't quite make that dream target and then at Perth again this year I was vending and she was just kind of diagonally across the room from me and it was still there and she had this shawl on display and I sort of said to myself right this is it this is absolutely it I am going to get this shawl now. I have been eyeing it up for over a year. I need to get the yarn to make this shawl. So that is exactly what I did. And I have got the pattern as well, an actual printout of the pattern somewhere. And that's what I was looking for. Um, but I think it might be over on my desk. But amusingly, um, Arthur came to visit me at Perth and he wanted to pick some yarn for me to make him something. Um, and he actually picked this colourway. It's in a, on a DK, well it's a DK, it's a, sorry, it's a Merino Nylon DK, but it is exactly the same colourway. It is also the colourway Royal, 
Um, and yeah, we both love a bit of purple. <laughs> Um, okay, so then I picked up again. Okay, so what else have I got? Uh, these I've shown on the podcast. My parents picked me these up. These are 100% alpaca. Um, really, really pretty. My parents picked these up on a recent trip to South Africa. Um, they went into a little shop and discovered that they sold yarn. And at first, the woman was trying to sell them all the acrylic. And when they explained about me, she got very excited and sold them some alpaca instead. <laughs> Um, so they are going to become a cowl and actually I had said that I was thinking of making a cowl using those for my mum and doing it for Christmas and now I'm like a week away from Christmas and I haven't done that oh well actually I'll do it for her birthday her birthday's in February <laughs> there we go that's a plan in fact do you know what I'm going to leave those out of the box so that I don't forget to do that um right okay so let's keep going um gift Oof, i've just thrown it across the room i received this gorgeous skein of the wool kitchen as a lovely gift from one of my friends who had it as a spare skein um when they were knitting an armor sweater and i'm holding the label upside down um so i think at some point this will become a hat for me i've been wanting a new dk hat actually see now i'm tempted to leave this out as well but i haven't got any time to knit anything at the moment apart from what i'm working on but maybe i'll leave this one out too <laughs> Um, and then I have got this gorgeous skein of Spectrum Fibres. Now, this was part of her Neon Club um, earlier in the year. I've only signed up for a couple of months of her Neon Club, this one and the most recent one, so December's month, um, which I guess I'll get at the end of December. Um, but my, my aim of this one, I purchased a DK, and the plan is that I am going to dye up um, another colour, probably... Um, a uh, kind of a, a grey of some kind and I'm going to use this alongside the other the grey to make a radiate sweater see some of them have plans this one doesn't this is just a gorgeous skein of beehive yarns and um, this was part of her marvellous Mrs Maisel club earlier this year um, and the colourway is midge and rose um, so I don't quite know what that'll be but it will definitely grow up to be something it's, it's a DK um, and it's really, really pretty. Um, then we've got a few more down Sheepy Lane. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any more than that in here. No, we've got a few more down Sheepy Lane um, Tim Burton clubs. So let's pick up. Oh, actually, there is another one there. That one there. So these are all, I think. Yeah, these are all um, down Sheepy Lane Tim Burton clubs. Um, so this one here is the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. This one here, which is stunning, absolutely stunning, um, is Promise to Hold On Tight, which is um, Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Um, this one here is the Chocolate Room. Again, so pretty. And this one here is Emily. Um, absolutely stunning. Um, I've now forgotten what this one was inspired by. Was this Corpse Bride, maybe? Um, I can't remember. But this one's a DK. So again, this could become a lovely hat or a cowl or something. Oh, I don't know. I want to knit all of it. Um, oh, and another DK. Gorgeous skein from Dye Candy, which um, I was very grateful to receive at... Perth, um, my lovely helper Jem was doing some swaps and um, she got me this one in the swap that she was doing. Absolutely stunning. And this is um, Codename Lavender. Also was planning that to be a hat. We have to get on with some hat knitting, I believe. Um, right, a big one. I have got four skeins, I think, of um, this absolutely stunning purple. Um, and this was a real luxury purchase. Um, this is, um, I'm going to pronounce this completely wrong. Um, so, Netherlands viewers and Swedish viewers who know how to pronounce this will um, laugh. But is it Froy, Froy Valborg? I don't know. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's dyed um, specific, specific, bleh, specifically for Stephen and Penelope in Amsterdam. And the colourway is Purple Mania. Um, and I have got four skeins of this. I picked this up at Edinburgh Yarn Festival this year. 
um, and this is going to become a pavement sweater. That is the plan anyway. Um, and then while we're talking sweaters quantities, I have got a sweaters quantity of this. This is actually my only other sweaters quantity. I only have two sweaters quantities in my stash. Um, I have a sweaters quantity of this gorgeous Eden Cottage yarns, um, again in purple. Um, and I also picked this up at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Um, and this is a BFL silk blend. And the plan for this is for it to become an Angelus Novus, which is kind of a shawl shaped cardigan, if that makes sense. Um, and actually, I think I want this to be my next garment cast on. After Christmas, when things calm down a little bit, I'm going to cast that on for the new year. And another Edinburgh Yarn Festival purchase is these two gorgeous skeins of Undercover Otter. Um, really, really pretty and fun. And the plan for these are to become the, is it the Pom and Pomp shawl? By um, Therese, by Brixton Pearl. Um, and you have one main colour, two skeins of one colour, and then the rest is all minis or scraps. So I'm planning to use up some kind of scraps and things to make this. Oh, I could use up the leftovers. I'd need to check the yardage, but I could use up the leftovers from my advent calendar, potentially, my Spectrum Fibres advent calendar. Those neon pops would go really nicely with this. Um, then what have we got else in here? So I've got a gorgeous skein of Black Elephant, which I picked up at Nottingham Yarn Expo when I was vending. This is in a DK weight again. Um, and I was initially planning to use a hat, but now that I've got quite a few sort of speckled DK skeins, I'm wondering whether I could actually get a Comfort Fade Cardi out of some of these. What do we think? Even introducing that. Could we do a Comfort Fade Cardi? Maybe. That's worth a think, isn't it? Got that one there as well, but possibly. I'll have to think. Oh, I've just dropped some on the floor. Um, right, and then, oh, I picked this up in a D-stash um, from a lovely friend. And this is a gorgeous skein of Suburban Stitcher. Really, really pretty. And I think this is going to become socks at some point for me. Um, yeah, look at those speckles. Really, really pretty. Um, what else have we got in here? Ah, these were part of, um, in fact, all three of these were... Um, from this year's uh, Mystery Gem Club, which um, Gemma of the Little Grey Girl ru runs. And these are the yarn. I won't show you the bags because they're in use and all over the place. Um, so this one was um, the most recent one from West Green Loft Yarns. Um, and the colourway is in the city. And the club actually came, oh, I can't even pick it up, it's so soft, came with one of these absolutely gorgeous toft pom-poms. Um, yeah, it's just like air. So that is going to be a hat. Um, and then there was also this gorgeous yarn of fine fish, gorgeous yarn of fine, you know what I'm trying to say, skein of fine fish yarns in the merry-go-round colourway. Really, really pretty. And this lovely skein of Spectrum Fibres was the first one in the year in the Neverland colourway. And I believe the next lot are on their way soon. Um, in this box, I have also got some commercial yarn, some commercial sock yarn. So I've got two skeins of Head Over Heels. Um, they were planning to become socks for my mum and dad for Christmas this year, which I've not got round to doing. I've also got this um, ball of Regia Perfect. Um, I just love this colourway. This was supposed to become Christmas socks for me this year, but I just haven't had time. And again, I've got two skeins of these. These are 50 gram balls um, of Berger de France in the Gumi 50. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous sock yarn if you can get hold of it. And this is in the Imprim Ciel. Um, I think that means printed sky. I may have got that wrong, but really, really, really pretty. Oh, and these are the little things. In fact, I need to replace this one. These were the little things that I was talking about in terms of moth prevention and um, they smell really nice and really fresh um, and you just stick them in the box and they help protect against moths I also have little bags of lavender in there as well um, oh and I've also got a couple of a couple of balls of sugars and cream sugar and cream in there as well just for dishcloths and washcloths and that kind of thing 
Right, how are we doing? Oh goodness, we're 25 minutes in. It's okay, there's one more box. Let's see if we can get this under 30 minutes, shall we? But not if I can't get everything back in this box. <clears throat> oh, actually, oh, just knocked the camera, sorry. Right, minis, uh, I wasn't going to talk about minis, I'm just going to say, I did a lot of mini swaps recently as part of Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted, and this bucket is now completely full of mini skeins. Um, so I'm going to be adding things to my blanket forever. Um, right, I picked up recently, I won't get these out of the bag, you can just see them through the bag. Um, I am knitting the Boundaries Blanket by Louise Tilbrook. And I'm just using this gorgeous sort of Drops Charisma. It's 100% wool, um, I believe. It's a superwash wool, 100% superwash wool. Um, and these are the two colours. I've knit the first square, which I think I showed on the podcast, or at least I will. Um, and I need to work on the second square. This box is kind of my plans to knit relatively soon box, if that makes sense. So I've got this gorgeous sock set from um, Henny Penny Makes, and these are her subtle stripes. So it's a very subtle two color stripe um, with a contrast for heels and toes. Um, and it's a mix of Delphinium, which is the colorway I showed you earlier, and Charite, Charite, um, as the two colors. Really, really pretty. Um, these, are, these are minis for Arthur's blanket. I just need to wind up the next lot. Um, oh yeah, I got this gorgeous skein um last year debbie and i swapped advent calendars um and this was the day 25 um skein which is called a very weasley christmas um and it's a merino nylon it's a merino cashmere nylon um and i was thinking that this could maybe potentially be my christmas eve cast on but then i also thought that this other lovely down sheepy lane um thing could be my christmas eve cast on and this is her baubles self-striping colorway a 50 grams and a 20 grams um so i'm not sure yet i feel like christmas eve christmas eve cast on should be socks in which case it should be this and that's already wound up so i could literally just pop that in my bag and it would be really quick and easy to take down to cornwall as a christmas eve cast on anyway um and then arthur has been after me to knit him something so i'd set aside this skein of um yarns from the plain in the archie colorway baby um to knit him something but i hadn't worked out quite what he needs some mittens so maybe that's what i'll do maybe i'll hold this double and i'll knit him some mittens at some point um i've got this gorgeous skein of the yarn badger absolutely stunning i bought this ver a while back and i've still not knit with it it's in the campfire colorway and it is really pretty it's got sparkle in there and again, I was contemplating this as my Christmas Eve cast on, although I kind of feel like it's not a festive enough colourway. Not sure. Um, and then that's kind of it in that box. That's good. That was nice and quick. The only other thing in there is the yarn that I got um, in my fibre share packet, which I showed you literally like a few days ago. So there's no point in me showing you that again. Oh, and that one. <clears throat> last box we're nearly there um and in fact this has got some random stuff in it so this is quite a random box so i've got some yarns that i received um as a gift from a friend who was doing a d stash and was just trying to get rid of stuff so i've got no idea what any of these are going to be i've got this gorgeous skein of um skein queen in the financial times colorway it's really lovely. It's 100% superwash merino, single ply, and it will definitely go into some kind of shawl project. Um, I've got these two, which are both Christmas colourways. And again, we're contemplating them being my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, so the Nora George yarns is called cool, is the snowman. And the stranded is the um, is vintage Christmas. So both potential Christmas Eve cast ons. My box is broken. Um, and then I've also got, I've got this lovely skein of Moods from Colour, which I've had for a while. Oh, it's coming unskeined. Um, I've had it for a while. I received it in a fibre share package a couple of years ago now. And it is stunning, but I just haven't cast it on. And it's a, it's a merino nylon, so it really could be some lovely socks. 
Um, I need to get my sock knitting going a little bit more next year. Um, and then what else have we got in there? Ah, these two were purchased for me, um, yarn mules, I guess is the term, um, from Yarndale. Absolutely gorgeous. And these are going to become a two colour brioche cowl by, um, oh, is it Lavania? Pr Pr I'll put the name on the screen. Absolutely stunning. Um, I got this lovely Mr. B's yarn as a gift last Christmas from Tom. Um, it's in the photonic colourway and it is absolutely beautiful and it just it's calling out to be a pair of cabled something or other, whether it's cabled finger hand warmers, wrist warmers or socks. Yeah, it just needs to be something something cabley, I think, and lacy. So I think that's gonna definitely have to be a patterned sock of some kind. That's that's vintage giddy yarns, that's vintage giddy yarns, um, that's vintage giddy yarns. Oh, that's good. Oh, I have got this super fun skein of Easy Knits um, in the Pondling colourway, which is destined to become a pair of socks for Tom. Um, and similarly with this gorgeous skein of Gamer Crafting in the Portal colourway. And um, for those that don't know, Portal is a computer game and Tom and I used to love playing it together. It had a fantastic two player mode. Um, so this just seemed the perfect colourway to knit a pair of socks for him. I've got this lovely skein, which I have no idea what to do with, of Dream um, in the Wilderness colourway. It's 100% merino and there's quite a lot here. Uh, it's a four ounce skein. So is that 115 grams? I'm not sure. It's quite a chunky skein. Um, and yeah, I just haven't quite worked out what to do with it yet. And then, oh, that's Vintage Giddy Yarns. And then two more. So two self stripings. So I've got this lovely skein of Desert Vista Dye Works, which I received, I think, as part of um, Get Your Yarn Wishes Granted a couple of years ago. It's really, really pretty. It's the Zombody, Love, Zombody Loves the Knit Girls. Uh, it's a really pretty colourway, um, but I've just not cast it on. And again, another skein. So this is, oh, these are coming undone. This is a skein of Fab Funky Fibres. Um, she's a UK-based dyer that does amazing self-striping. Um, and these are matching skeins. So the idea is that you can um, cast on, you can knit identical socks from the self-striping colourways. Um, so again, more things that need to be cast on. Oh, it just makes me want to cast on all the things when I go through my stash. Does anyone else find that? Um, so what was I supposed to be leaving in this box for Christmas Eve cast-ons and all of that kind of stuff? In fact, I can use this opportunity to put away my fibre share yarn that can go in here um, and all of that can stay in that box there so that is pretty much the stash tour <clears throat> um, I don't have a lot of commercial yarn lying around um, because I tend to find oh broken box there we go um, I tend to if I'm using commercial yarn for something like this for the blanket I will purchase commercial yarn for that project specifically. I don't tend to stash commercial yarn as such. Um, yeah. So that is kind of it then, I think. I have a load of minis downstairs and a load of scraps, but I'm not going to share those. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed a little tour through my stash and it wasn't too boring. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully we will be back to normal for tomorrow's Vlogmas. Um, yeah, if the car gets fixed, fingers crossed.